I'm Judy Chu and I'm a Congress member of the 32nd District and I'm here to support the workers who are on strike at Hyatt Andes. So is this your district? This is not my district, but I am a huge supporter of Unite Here. I know that hotel workers are exploited throughout this country and the things that the Hyatt Andes is doing to the workers is just inexcusable. Can, can you speak anything about the specific action that's going on here today, about the, the strike that's been happening? Well, this, this tension has been mounting as Hyatt has been trying to cut corners and it's forcing the workers to do more and more rooms in a shorter and shorter period of time. They have to uh, turn over 100 pound mattresses. There are injuries uh, and uh, not, only do, not only that, they're doing strike breaking types of things like uh, getting temporary workers to replace those workers who are on strike. These are actions that are anti-worker and yet these workers have been devoted to them for such a long period of time. Now, speaking of the larger point, uh, larger picture, uh, Congress has, since the uh, Republicans took over, turned inhospitable towards towards working people and towards the, the kind of folks who are out here striking today. Uh, what can you tell us about what's happening at the national level and how to turn that around? Well, uh, yes, you're absolutely right. And in fact, I was on the Ed, Ed and Labor Committee, and there were many, many uh, anti-worker actions that the Republicans have taken. Fortunately, it stopped at the Senate level, but uh, they continuously wanted to weaken the ability of workers to organize, and they're trying to weaken the NLRB, which arbitrates these issues. So I, I know that, well, I, what I really think we have to do is take back the House, because we're not going to be able to turn this around unless we are able to get back the majority of the House. And when, when, uh, when President Obama talks uh, about deficit reduction on the one hand and then switches gears to talk about uh, spending stimulus. Do you think that confuses the, the voters at all about what our priorities are? Well, I think he was really clear, though, on the fact that we needed jobs. And uh, I, I was heartened by the fact that he really boosted his jobs proposal, and he really emphasized the infrastructure, and he talked about getting teachers and construction workers back on the job uh, as soon as possible. That's the real crux of it, and I thought that was great. Well, thank you, Congresswoman Chu. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Thank you.